and this thing looks really really cool what's up lego fans welcome to my channel pete's bricks the lego channel for the common lego fan today we are back with some more lego news today is the brand new for 2023 lego monkey kid sets we have a total of four brand new sets to look at. There was one other set. It's a Monkey Kid mech that I already did talk about on my channel a few weeks ago. So definitely go check out the link above in order to see that. Before we get right into this video, I do ask that you please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content like this. But without further ado, let's jump right into these images. So the first set we're looking at is set 80040 Monkey Kids Combi Mech. Now, this is probably one of the better mechs that LEGO has made in recent years, comparing this to Ninjago, to even the Marvel superhero mechs we just checked out in my last news video, link above, of course. It has moving knee joints, moving elbow joints, things that both Ninjago and Marvel mechs severely lack. And just for that, this is going to be way better. I don't know why they don't do stuff like this for Ninjago. Is it stability? I mean, the set is 7 plus. It's still for, you know, young kids. Monkey Kid is known for having a pretty interesting color scheme. In this mech alone, you got the red, the yellow, with little bits of teal that really pop. I like the weapons and accessories. That large new sword's very cool along with his whole staff. In terms of minifigures, you get some brand new villains that look pretty creepy to me. They remind me of the Overlord from Ninjago with the gold and purple accents. And the Monkey Kid minifigure himself was only available in some pretty expensive Monkey Kid sets in recent years. So the fact that you're getting this Monkey Kid minifigure with arm printing in this small $20 set is a great deal. Due to the low price point and just how cool it looks, this set will most likely make its way into my LEGO collection. Next up we have set 80041 Maze Dragon Jet. While I don't think it may be as cool as the mech, I still think it does look pretty interesting. I like the teal, the green, and the white which this character May uses in a lot of her vehicles. Plus, you get two of those really cool villains that we saw you only get one of in the Monkey Kid mech. You get one with a black bow and arrow, and the other with a cool kind of translucent ghostly lower half. This is also going to be $20. Though the mech looked a little bigger than this flying vehicle, you do get three minifigures instead of two. So for your value, I think this is pretty good for 20 bucks. Lego knew what they were doing with the marketing here. As the smaller $20 sets, both are able to combine to form one big mech. The way you're able to combine the mechs together kind of reminds me of something from Gundam. I just think it's really cool how you could buy each set and it'll stand alone. But if you do get both, you can combine them into an even bigger robot. Next up is set 80043 Yellow Tusk Elephant. And this thing looks really, really cool. It is priced at $80, which is pretty expensive, though it does feel right to me for some reason. You get a total of five minifigures. You get two of those purple and gold guys. You get a figure of May. You get Pigsy, who I really like for some reason. Then you get a new villain, who is this white elephant guy with yellow tusks. I did notice in the left corner of the box they show a bunch of collectible weapons. You only get the sword in this one. Looking at the image on the back of the box it does look a little smaller to me. Man this looks like it should have been maybe 70. It's 80. You know I think this is a pretty good deal anyway. You get a smaller mech for the elephant villain. You get that little jail cart to roll Pigsy in. This just looks really cool to me. It kind of reminds me of that war or elephant from Adventure Time kind of reminds me of the elephants from Lord of the Ring. We've just never really had anything quite like this unless you're counting the mammoths from the Chima line. I think it is quite a bit different as this is actually supposed to be just a full-on elephant and not a robot as far as I know. The last set we're going to look at is set 80044 Monkey Kids Team Hideout and as it seems to me in the Monkey Kid theme the bigger and more expensive you get the better sets you're going to have. And this set looks fantastic and is probably my favorite of the bunch. However, it is $140, which is expensive, I'm not going to lie. Does it look $140? It really depends how much you want it. To some people, it will look worth it. To others, not so much. I think this looks really, really good. In this set, you get a total of six minifigures plus Sandy's cat. 
For some reason, Sandy and the cat, they used to have orange mohawks, which now they don't. Um, I don't watch the show, so that may be some part of story elements where they've shaved off their hair. I don't know. The figures still look cool anyway. You get the monkey kid, you get May, you get Pigsy and a random civilian person, along with that really cool vulture guy in that vulture mech. It kind of makes me wish that the vulture we got with the Marvel sets had talons like that at the bottom. That would have been very cool. The set itself says that this is a modular set, though on the box is the recommended way to put it together, which I'm probably going to do if I get the set. I like all the sections. You get a little workshop for May and her weapons. You get another shop for a Pigsy to make his food. A lot of very nice just scenery in the mountains and the foliage and the bamboo. And I really like that little temple at the top for Monkey Kid. The plant at the top kind of reminds me of the Flower Fruit Mountain, which I do have have and if I got this set I think it would look perfect right next to that other set. Looking at the bottom left I did notice the golden weapon thing. You get all the golden weapons especially that brand new staff for Monkey Kid which features some brand new elements for the end. In fact all these weapons feature brand new elements and you get a full set of all of them right here in this set. So there are the four new Lego Monkey Kid sets. Of course, the fifth one we have already looked at in that other video. I'll link it in the description in case you missed it. Overall, I think Lego Monkey Kid is a very strong theme and criminally underrated. With that being said, stay tuned for more Lego news videos on my channel. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.